Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath. If it's not comfortable, try to change the way you breathe so it feels more comfortable. And once you find something you'd like, try to maintain it. Bring as much awareness to this as you can. Because it's awareness, it's seeing things clearly, being alert, being clear about what's going on, what you're doing. That's what cuts through a lot of old habits. In some of the texts they talk about a cycle. First there's an action, and then there's the results of the action, and depending on whether you like or dislike the action or the results, then you're going to have a defilement. If you like it, you want more of it. If you don't like it, you want to push it away. And then we start doing actions again under the influence of the defilement, and the results get worse and worse. That's a downward spiral. The upward spiral is one where you're alert to what's going on, and even though you may like or dislike the results, you have to say, okay, I have to be calm and clear so I can see what's the right thing to do right now, not just act on my likes or dislikes. When you have that amount of clarity, when you have that amount of awareness, then you can change your habits. Because this is where they have to be changed. They have to be changed from within. Other people can try to force you to change your habits, but unless you're willing to go along, it's not going to happen. And the willingness comes from the clarity, saying that when you act in this way, the results are going to be that way. When you act in that way, the results are going to be this way. And you begin, begin to see the connection between the two. You realize, because some actions that you like are going to give bad results. You have to learn not to act on them even though you don't like them. Other actions that you don't like will give good results, so you have to give, your, give yourself the energy you need in order to actually do those things. So your likes and don't likes don't take over. So try to bring awareness. Start with something simple like the breath, and then bring that awareness as you develop it, as you get more and more alert, more and more mindful. Your mind gets steadier. Then you can bring that same awareness to other actions, other habits in your life. This is how change comes about. It comes from within. It's a principle that the Buddha said, everything is, has the mind as its forerunner. In other words, the mind is the beginning of things. It's not just on the receiving end, but it's a more active principle. This is the first verse in the Dhammapada. The mind is the forerunner of all experiences. So you want to make sure that your mind is in good shape. When your mind is in good shape, it makes a lot of difference in your life and in the lives of people around you. So try to be alert and see what's actually going on so you can make your decisions that are better informed, decisions that are actually more in tune with what's actually going on, and decisions that are going to lead to better results down the line. As the Buddha said, if people couldn't change their ways, there would have been no reason for them to teach. But we can change our ways. So if you see any way that you're acting that's causing bad results, okay, stop, be clear for a while, and try to figure out not whether you like or dislike it, but whether you can change your ways in the direction that's more skillful. <laughs>